Hey there folks, Paul Marco with Student of the Gun. And recently I was discussing this pistol. This is the M&P Shield 2.0. I was discussing this publicly on a public forum. I know, that was my first mistake. But uh, one of the comments was that it was nice for concealed carry, but it wasn't really an accurate pistol, whatever that means. So the, uh, the commenter said, yeah, it's good for close up, but it's not good for accuracy, for whatever. So whatever that means. And I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna come out to the range and uh, I'm gonna test it out. Now, the reason that I actually bought this pistol and that I have this pistol is because, uh, as you should know, we, student of the gun, I worked with Night Fission. That's Night, F-I-S-I-O-N, Night Fission sights to come up with a set of student of the gun Accurate Tritium sights for the M&P pistols. Uh, and if you know anything about the M&Ps, whether it's the 9, the 40, or the 45, the sight cuts are all identical for all the pistols, so these will work. Any hooser, so what I've got down range, and what we're gonna shoot in just a second, is I have a head size plate, a plate that's the size of a head, and that's gonna be about 15 yards away, and then I have a half silhouette that's 25 yards away. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get up, Oh, and I'm not gonna game it with match ammo. What I've got in this can next to me is the variety pack, I call this diversity, of ammo. I've got jacketed hollow point, full metal jacket. I've got the uh, some of the wolf stuff in here. I've got some of the, the Black Hills, Honey Badger, a whole variety. So I'm gonna load these magazines up with a variety of different 45 ACP loads, because this is a 45 ACP. And I'm gonna shoot them at the head at 15 yards and at the silhouette at 25 yards. And we'll see if this gun is accurate enough. Stop! Well, the nice thing about steel is that we don't have to go down range and I don't have to show you the holes in paper or cardboard because you obviously heard the dings. And in the, uh, the case of the head target, you saw it shudder and shake. So seven shots, seven hits with the M&P 45 uh, Shield 2.0 with the Accurate sights, the student of the gun, Accurate Tritium sights. Uh, like I said, I used a variety of 45 uh, from different manufacturers, so I didn't game it. Yes, accuracy is dependent on the shooter. It's essentially relative. But to say that a gun, it's one thing to say a person doesn't have accuracy or skill or whatever. It's another thing to say, well, a gun doesn't have, quote, accuracy. Let's face facts. With modern manufacturing, the vast, vast, vast majority of firearms have more inherent built-in accuracy than 95% of the shooters out there. So, to answer your question, for those of you out there that are curious, the Shield 2.0, 45, that old, old cartridge with the accurate sights, is it accurate enough to make headshots at 15 yards and shots on a body, half silhouette at 25 yards? Well, I think you saw the answer is yes. All right, I'm Paul Markle with Student of the Gun. Remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.